Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, this was a bit of an emergency upload. This morning, we got the official announcement from the Pokemon Company and from Nintendo that we have release dates for both Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus, and they're incredibly close to one another. So let's just jump right into things. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. I hope you all enjoy my content, and I hope you're enjoying this Pokemon video game coverage, and I hope you'll enjoy the future coverage that we'll have leading up to the release of these games. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, you might miss a video. So be sure to go hit that red button down below so you never miss an upload and turn your notifications on because, you know, I upload pretty much every single time every week. But, you know, that could change. That could alter as we go along. So just make sure to stay updated with all that. And let's get right into the discussion here. So this morning, the Pokemon Company officially announced when both Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus will be dropping on the Nintendo Switch. And the release dates are one of which is it's not very surprising, but the second one's really interesting. Now, the first one is Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Not only did we get the announcement that the games will be launching on November 19th, 2021, which is right before Black Friday and pretty much in line with when the Pokemon Company and Game Freak have been dropping games in recent memory, probably for the last decade. Pokemon games have been coming out in November or October. These games also got their box arts, which are on the thumbnail and you can see on screen, and they're gorgeous. The renders are incredibly high quality of Dialga and Palkia. And for those of you who are OG Pokemon players and Pokemon fans, the models remind me of a Pokemon Diamond and Pearl trailer that dropped when the games were first being sold, where you had these like 3D renders of Dialga and Palkia. Uh, it was a TV trailer commercial, a live action for the games, and it looked really cool. And something about these models just made me really nostalgic for that trailer. And it was something that I noticed immediately. But I think the box art looks great. The release date pretty much falls in line with everything we were expecting. Given the reveal for Legends Arceus and the fact that they basically uh, told us in the original trailer that the game was going to be coming out early 2022. There were a couple weeks there where I kind of had the intuition that, oh, maybe Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are coming sooner than we think. Maybe they're coming out in September. Maybe they're coming out in October. Part of me felt that if we were going to be getting Legends Arceus really early in the next year, and I was thinking like March, they would want to give some space between releases. These are both big time Switch releases. These are both releases that are going to be priced at a full $59.99 MSRP. These are big Sinnoh games. These are remakes of games that fans absolutely adore of a region and a time in the Pokemon franchise that a lot of fans feel really nostalgic for. So there was a feeling among a lot of people that, oh, Game Freak is going to try to space these out as much as possible while also giving them to us in a similar way because it's both Sinnoh the experiences are going to be inexplicably tied together by the marketing and by the way Pokemon goes about presenting itself over the next couple months, regardless of if there's any legitimate in-game connections between these three titles. But I was wrong. November, it's the release date that we got for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, for Sun and Moon, for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, for, uh, for X and Y, X and Y was October, for Sword and Shield. This is the release date time for Pokemon games now, and I think we really should have expected it, and I think for the most part people did. The interesting part is where Legend Arceus is coming out. Now, if you've seen all the information already and you've watched a couple videos, you will know that it is slated for a January 28th, 2022 release date, just a couple days after my birthday, which is a pretty exciting stuff. This is really close to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. November and January, there's one month in between the two months of these games releasing, and that's the Christmas season. These are incredibly close releases, and I'm really going to be curious to figure out and see what the community thinks about why Game Freak and the Pokemon Company are choosing to release their games in this way. Now, there's a couple things that immediately come to mind, the first of which is these are very different games. Uh, Legends Arceus appears to be a solely single player story based campaign. Maybe I'm hoping at least there will be some Pokemon home connection where you can at least bring these Pokemon that you raise in Legends up with you once we get new future games, since they are treating this for the most part as a mainline game. But these games are different. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are bread and butter basic Pokemon core RPGs. They are literally in their own words, faithful remix to Diamond and Pearl. Now that's obviously not saying that we could see some different things, some new things added in these games, some platinum content. 
some mega evolutions, all of that is still on the table, but for what a core RPG Pokemon game is, that is what Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are. Legends Arceus is more experimental, it's open world, it's story focused, it takes place in a time period that we've never experienced before, and it's showing us an experience in a region we've previously visited, and it's not a remake. All of these, th or a sequel, all of these things are very different and very new for the Pokemon company. And you could maybe consider this as Game Freak hedging their bets a little bit. Ilka is the one developing Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Sure, Junichi Masuda is, is, is consulting, if you will, with the development of these games, but Game Freak is largely hands-off. They don't have much involvement in these remakes. They don't really have to tailor their release cycle or their preference of when they put out games based on what Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are doing. And it could just be that, who knows, maybe one of these games flops in their minds. Maybe people don't take to Legends Arceus. Or maybe people see Legends Arceus and get overly excited for that and say, why do we need these cartoony, quote-unquote childish, brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl games when we have this new big open world game? So this could be them basically trying to compensate now and say, we have these two titles, we want to release them close so fans have choice and so fans aren't disappointed with one and only want the other. It's basically a fallback measure. The other thing, it could just be simply that Legends Arceus is a Switch Pro game. The Switch Pro might be coming out later than Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. The Switch Pro might be coming out early 2022. Maybe these games are going to run better on the um, on the, the rumored and much talked about Switch Pro. If you guys saw the original trailer for Legends Arceus, which I mean, you're seeing right now on the in the video as well, slowed down a bit, obviously due to copyright, but the game looked good. But there were some frame issues, there were some model issues, there were some overall concerns about the quality of the game, and a lot of people have said, listen, this game is going to continue to get polished, this game still has a year until from reveal to release for the most part. I think Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus got revealed in February, game's coming out a year after at the end of January. There's a lot of development time. It could have been an early build. There's a lot we don't know. But generally speaking, when Pokemon puts a date on a release, they do not delay. I had been thinking for a long time ever since I think I made my first uh, Legends Arceus video, that I, just based on the development time, based on the things going on with Nintendo, based on the fact that we have BDSP, I thought maybe this game could see a delay. Maybe we could see a summer release next year for Legends, maybe even the end of the year. Just given the tricky development of open world games, looking specifically at Breath of the Wild, which got a whole host of delays before the game eventually became a launch title for Switch and came out in 2017. So I had felt maybe that's possible, but they've given us a date. They've given us a hard date, January 28th, 2022. This game seems like it's going to come out on schedule. And for Pokemon fans who are casual and who will enjoy most of what Game Freak and the Pokemon company put out, we're getting two really intriguing Sinnoh games incredibly close to one another. You're going to get Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl to begin the holiday season in the middle of November. And then you're going to get Legends Arceus to begin a new year. That's insane. The, the, the output from Pokemon is going to be crazy. And that's a game early in the year. Could we see something else, maybe a side game or something in the future near the end of 2022? This raises a lot of questions for what Generation 9 could be and what the timetable of Generation 9's release could be. Is it 2022? I, I don't think so, but some people have been throwing that out there. 2023, potentially, we see uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl in 2021, Legends Arceus 22, Gen 9 23. That's a pretty full release schedule, and that's a pretty full plate for Game Freak to be working on. Granted, they're only doing Legends, they're not doing VDSP, as I feel like I need to mention in almost every single video because some people get that confused. But that's where we're at right now. We have release dates. We're probably, considering the fact that they only gave us dates and they didn't give us any new gameplay or trailers, that leads me to think E3 is going to have Pokemon. We're going to see it in Nintendo's show, at least Legends Arceus. Maybe we get a separate trailer for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl separately. But I think one of these two titles is going to be shown off at Nintendo's big E3 event in a couple weeks. And I'm really excited for it. With that being said, what do you guys think about these releases? Are you excited for these games? Are you a little worried given what we've already seen? And do you think these dates will change? Let me know in the comments section down below. And as I mentioned before, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to hit that button. It really does a ton to support me. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more discussion videos in the future. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.